Today we're going to talk about motorcycle cornering mistakes that make you look like a beginner. It's common to see people making this mistake and if you do it, you run the risk of running the corner too wide or making the corner too tight. And I see it all the time on group rides where it's even more dangerous. You want to be able to ride safer, don't you? Perhaps faster? Well, let's solve this problem and you'll be able to do both. Make me all blind with you. Civil rights, you demand that I eternize your name. Walk away. Mm -hmm. You cover us in shame, and I take the blame. Living by the moves to you, which high school blues. Walk ahead. Now on the weekend, the boys are going to come around to my house and both of them have got big bore kits in their Harleys. So it's impossible for me to keep up with them in a straight line, but I can beat them around corners. The only thing is, it's been winter and I'm a little bit out of practice. It's always a good idea to practice what you're going to do in terms of riding your motorcycle. So today I'm going to practice cornering so that I know I can beat them in the corners. Now this video is going to come out after we've been for a ride so they won't know I'm practicing. I'm at Arthur's seat. Arthur's seat's got corners, lots of tight corners. There's no better spot. Let's go. Now I'm here with Mark. I brought Mark along for this ride up Arthur's seat because we're practicing corners and it's a good idea. Or this is what I like to do. I like to get somebody who can ride well, who can ride pretty fast and then try and chase them up the hill through the corners. Because I know that if he can take the corners safely, I can too. Now, of course, this is fraught with danger. You've got to put your ego aside because if I start thinking, hang on, I'm going to try and beat him if I can't, that's fraught with danger. And of course, it's not a race. We don't speed in Australia because the people who run the highway patrol, they're about our age and they all grew up with Mad Max. The sun is always day. So for those of you who are watching from overseas, that's a cult movie that originated here in Australia. Quit toying, Baba! Now if you've seen Mad Max, you know that the highway patrol are out of control. Go over 30 kilometers in Australia and you are... Gone. Oh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> So when we're practicing corners, we want to focus on one thing only. I know you can practice different things as you're going around corners, but, but if your focus is on one thing, it's going to go a lot further for you in actually developing that one particular skill. It's the discipline of focusing on one thing that's important to improve on a particular skill. One thing you've got to watch out for on corners is all the debris that's on the road, because this is not a racetrack. It's a Fairnicum road and there are all sorts of hazards. Check this out. One of the reasons I love Arthur's seat, check out this view. The sky is so far away tonight. So with corner practice, you also want to focus on safety. And that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Resurgence Gear Motorcycle Clothing, who have, of course, the safest clothing on the planet. Cool looking clothes. Check out this shirt I'm wearing. Absolutely fantastic. AAA rated. You can't get much better. And Resurgence jeans, the most comfortable jeans on the planet. Very stretchy. And we've all seen Resurgence Gear jeans in action. Holy crap. Through the jeans, but not through the peak at all. Nothing. It's not even like broken or don't forget 10 percent discount if you use the code old not dead so don't forget our merchandise old not dead gear you've got old not dead gear on look at that 
Fantastic. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> well, I don't leave home without it. You want to wear clothes that spell out your attitude, that's old not dead. So grab some merchandise. It really helps the channel. It's much appreciated. So today's focus is going to be going in wide on corners, turning in later and faster. It's got a lot of benefits in terms of safety and speed and it eliminates a lot of problems that people have going around Ben's corners. So that's the one thing we're gonna to practice today, going in wide on corners, turning in faster, or as fast as a Harley Davidson touring bike will allow. They're surprisingly nimble for big bikes. All right, let's draw a corner. Now coming into a corner wide and turning in faster, is going to change your cornering from this to something faster and safer. Imagine this is a lane, you're in the middle of the lane. What some people do is they start to lean and corner early when they see the corner starting. This tightens the radius and it means you've got to lean more, you hit the apex of the corner sooner, and your track or your path can potentially run you wide. Of course, you've got to lean more to compensate for that. Now if you start on the outside with your approach and you go deeper or further into the corner before you start your turn, it means you've got to counter steer faster, which is pushing the right side of the handlebars harder to turn right in this case. But you'll have a straighter line through the corner and you won't have to lean as much to be in the right spot coming out. Now your apex is later and it means you can see further into the corner which helps with safety and it means you can accelerate harder, sooner, because you'll be more upright. Now with a corner that tightens or a decreasing radius corner, if you turn in too early, it's much more difficult to stay on the road and to continue you're going to have to lean very hard in the latter part of the corner. But if you enter wide, you can often see it's tightening and adjust accordingly. Plus, you'll have a better line going through the corner. You don't need to lean aggressively. It sort of sets you up for the second part of the corner, which is the decreasing radius part. It's not all about speed, it's actually a lot about safety and we'll get into that. So everything's really about safety. Now staying wide as you enter the corner allows you to have a later apex. You don't need to lean the bike as much because you're actually going straighter. That's gotta be safer. It's also going to be faster because it allows you to get onto the throttle earlier because your bike's more upright. Now a later apex is a lot better it's a lot safer because you can actually see further into the corner. So you can see if there's any traffic coming, you can see if there are any hazards. Because if you make your apex too early, you're basically running through a blind corner. that's accentuated on blind corners because you really do get a better angle of view. You can actually see that the corner is tightening ahead. But of course, if you leave your turning later when you're coming into the corner, you're going to have to potentially counter steer faster or push harder on the handlebars. And for those of you who don't know counter steering, if I want to turn right, that means I've got to push on the right handlebar, which is going to move the wheel to the left and tip the bike over to the right. With counter steering, the faster you're going, the harder you've got to push on the handlebars. But seriously, at road speeds, it doesn't take much effort at all. Try it yourself. It can be a little bit unnerving if you've never done it before. Just push, the harder and faster you push, the faster your bike will lean into the corner. You're moving forward, so it's not like you're gonna fall down. The movement of the bike is going to keep it upright. Now you wanna stay safe, don't you? If you do, check out the video that I'm gonna link here, which has more detail on cornering. Somewhere in your chest On your sweetheart hidden mist Oh, oh